In our previous video, we have prepared structural drawings of a 10 stories building. In this video, we will import reinforcement from robot model and create structural details. Link to download complete robot model and Revit model of 10 stories building is attached in the description below. To import reinforcement in Revit, we will open our final Revit model. In this model, we have designed all the columns and beams. Now we will open Revit and then go to Analyze tab. Now click on Robot Structural Analysis button. Then click on Robot Structural Analysis link. We will select Update Model. Click on Update Options. Click on Transfer Reinforcement. Now press OK twice to start updating model and transferring reinforcement to our Revit model. It will take some time to transfer reinforcement in all the beams and columns. All the data has been imported in our model. We will open 3D view to see the reinforcements. We can see that in every column and beam, reinforcement has been modeled automatically as per robot design. Now we will open foundation and column layout plan. We will create a typical sectional detail of raft. Go to views and cut a section through a column and raft. Now adjust the depth of section and then open section by double clicking on it. Now reduce the depth of section just to view raft and start of column. Now change the detail level to fine. We will hide unnecessary details from the view. We do not want to see concrete hatch in our raft and column. Select then and right click on them. Click on overrides graphics in view. Then click on by category. We will uncheck visible in cut pattern. Now click on apply and then OK. Now we will add reinforcement in our raft. Select raft and click on rebar. Choose rebar shape. Now choose the rebar size we want to place in raft. Now bring the cursor on raft and place the rebar shape on raft. Click to place it. Now change the placement orientation to place in perpendicular direction. Similarly, we will place reinforcement in top of raft. Now we will select these reinforcements and change them from single to maximum spacing of eight inches. We will repeat these steps for all the reinforcements. We will change the spacing for perpendicular reinforcement also. Now we will extend the column reinforcement into the raft. Select the end of bar and extend it into the raft. Now we will provide a 90 degree hook at the end. Select the bar and provide 90 degree hook at end. Now select the bar and press space bar couple of times to place hook at correct location. Now match this hook bar to the remaining column bars. Now drag them down and then press space bar to place hooks at the right location. Now we will use a line tool to align the hooks together. Now we will add lean concrete under the foundation. Go to annotation tab then select filled region tool. Now select rectangle draw option and three inches offset. Now draw this region under the foundation. We will use a line tool to align this region under the foundation. Click on finish button to complete the region. Lean concrete has been added as non-parametric object. Now we will change this filled region. Click on edit type. Now change the fill pattern to concrete. Select concrete from the list. Now we will change the view scale to view fill pattern. Change scale to half inch to one feet. Now fill pattern looks good. Now we will add some dimension to our section. We will use a line dimension tool. Now if we do not want to show this there before 3 inch, we go to manage tab and then click on project units button. Click on link button then click on suppress zero options and press OK. We can see zero has been removed. Now we will hide the crop region from the view. We will add break line here to make this section better. Go to annotation tab and then click on components. We will load family of break line. Go to US Imperial folder. 
Then click on Detail Items. Select Detail Items again, then click on General. Pick the break line family and place it on the column. Similarly, we will place it on the side of the raft also. Press spacebar to change the orientation of the break line and adjust it as needed. Now we will adjust the reinforcement cover of the raft. Select Raft and go to Structures tab. Click on Cover button in Reinforcement Group. Click on three dots next to cover settings after selecting Raft. We will choose Cast Against Earth 3 inch cover. Now drag the reinforcement to move it below horizontal bars. Now we will tag our reinforcements. Go to Annotation tab then click on Tag by Category. Click on Bars to add tag on them. Now we will select the tags and change their description. From bar number to spacing. We will match this tag property to other tags as well. We can also change the placement of tags and their leaders. Tags shall be placed on bars to show reinforcement details. Similarly, column bar tags will be adjusted. Our typical raft sectional detail is ready now. We will place it on drawing. Open column and foundation layout plan and drag and drop this section on Drawing. Now we will change the name of this detail. We can also create column sectional detail. We will create a section here, then we will rotate this section to pass it from the column. Now double click on the tip of section to open it. We will hide unnecessary details. We will add annotations to our section. Now we will select column section. And then right click to apply graphics override to hide concrete hatch. We can change detail level to find to view rebars as solid objects. Now we will add tags to reinforcement and place these tags at appropriate locations. We can also add arrowhead at the ends of leaders. Our column section is ready now. We will place this section on the drawing. This section is for column C4. So we can change the title of this detail. We will rename this detail as column C4. Now we will create beam elevation. Open framing plan. Now we will create a section passing from beams. We will adjust the depth of this section. Now open this section and adjust the height of this section to show one story only. Now we will hide the unnecessary details from the section. Now select all the objects and then right click to apply graphics overrides and hide cut pattern. Change the detail level to find to view bars as solid objects. Now we will add break lines on top and bottom of columns. Now we will add dimensions to our beam elevation. Now we will tag the reinforcements of beams. Go to annotation and then click on tag by category. And then click on bars to tag them. We will add tag all the bars and adjust the tags on the beam. Our beam elevation is ready now we will place this beam elevation on the drawing. Now we will create some sections from the beam elevation. We will adjust the depth of the section and then make a copy of this section from another location. Now open this section. We will hide unnecessary details from this section. Now we will change the level of detail to fine. And then we will override the graphics to unhide cut pattern. Now we will add break line at the end of the section. Now we will add tags to our beam reinforcement and place the tags. Now we will place this section of beam next to beam elevation. Now quickly we will add details to second section of the beam. 
We will follow the same steps we did for the first section. Now we will place this second section on the drawing. We can add as many details as we want. I hope you enjoyed this video. In our next video, we will create concrete quantity take off sheets from Revit model. Thanks for watching.